Good day, folks. This is Greg Judy at Green Pastures Farm. Today I was going to show you. We're almost done with the corral, but we've got a few latches to put in. But um, all the gates are hung. Um, that's pretty much all we got to do is get the O shoot out of here. Um, we got the wheel, the wheel gate. Jacob built for us the actual wheels. Let's the gate swing open. This opening here we brought a big thick piece of uh belting rubber belting it's gonna be bolted on here because it, you know baby calf would just shoot right through that but we're gonna close that opening with belting and then of course this just, it, it goes either way so the, the boys mounted the hinges right dead center of the gate which allows the gates to go 90 degrees that way and go back 90 degrees this way so yeah pretty tickled with that uh, if you come over here, uh, we did use um, two by eight. <coughs> Excuse me. Two by eight treated. Um, somebody asked me why we didn't use oak, or you know, just saw them out. Um, because oak is worth too much money. Uh, you can buy these boards a lot cheaper than you can what we get for a good white oak board. Um, there's a market out there for really good rough sawn two by eight or two by ten oak. So we just, uh, we use CCA treated. Um, they've got galvanized staples. These cattle panels, cattle panels are uh, four foot, actually 49 inches. And so we use one in the middle, one middle, top and bottom. I wanted to make sure that I kept my cattle panel and my board off the ground, of course, because if you, you know, you put them on the ground, it's just gonna rust. The other thing about a cow, um, it, I've seen a guy built one of these. He didn't use two by eights, he used two by sixes. And he had his wire clear up here. The, the bottom of the wire was right there. And what happened was the cows would get their nose under there and they're so strong that once they put their nose under, they just put their head under and they pull that whole thing up. They bust the two by six, they bend this, it's ruined. And so that's the telltale our cattle panel and our board is about two and a half to three inches off the ground. That keeps the cow's nose from getting underneath it. So and we put these on eight, these are on eight foot centers. You come over here and look closer, Jen. Um, this is some old- um, Tin. Tin, well, it's actually aluminum. Steel, I guess it's steel siding, steel roof siding. Left over from some of the uh, projects we've done. And I actually uh, took little screws and screwed it to the top of my post. Not to the top. Well, this is screwed to the top. Yeah, it, it's screwed on the sides around here. Yeah. But uh, it keeps the water from going into the top of your post. Folks, these posts are not cheap. Um, we did use waste rock. Uh, let's go over here and I'll show you what we're talking about. said waste rock I, I actually miss I misrepresented it you can come on in a little closer this is what they call uh, it's called inch and a half minus so it'll go from inch and a half all the way down to dust and boy you talk about you put that around a hole we had a 12 inch auger and no I'm sorry it was a 10 inch auger and we're setting 8 inch no it was 12 12 inch and uh, we set an eight inch post down in it. And then uh, we backfilled it with this waste rock. Folks, when you tamp that in real good, it's, um, it's just as good as sackcrete. And it's a whole lot cheaper than sackcrete. You can buy, you know, by the ton. And uh, we just dipped it up in the skid steer bucket and brought it right over to where we needed it. Let's go and show them what they just did today. Yeah. This afternoon. So here's the two posts the boys just put in. Put in one here, one here. And then we've got these, there's freestanding panels that are gonna lock on these last uh, three remaining openings. So we actually will have just a little holding pin right in there. 
then we'll have one on the front and then there's one in the back so we'll have three areas you know if you want to keep a cow up or a calf or whatever you can do that um but these gates they've got these goofy little chains on them we're actually going to cut that chain off and there's a really nice latch i'll show you when we get them installed the latch mechanism it, it bolts onto the gate and it bolts onto here and uh yeah it's and then you said we're going to put uh, cattle uh, pig panels yeah we're going to put pig panels on the inside because if you would keep a baby calf in here with his mother overnight or whatever you know a baby calf can get through that and he's going to be out there on the road and his mom's going to be in here so we're going to line the inside with, with a, a pig panel which comes up to about right here so let's go back to the main corral uh -huh. so you can you can kind of do a sweep of it um we had uh, an issue with the terrain going downhill there's a few humps there's a few humps in it and so you couldn't just chalk a line and put your boards up you, we kind of built it 16 foot at a time based on the terrain let's go look at it so right here we came in and made a slight corner of course the crowd did and we didn't want to cut it because eight eight foot started right there we just went right around the corner and uh, we took a hammer and we bent these and just went right on around the corner rather than cutting the cattle panel that would have made it weaker i mean this thing's stout uh, we nailed we didn't nail we stapled every other staple uh every, every other, other section <laughs> every other staple <laughs> every, every other panel we put a staple in it and we bought these cool staples let me get down i'll have to show you they got barbs on them they, they sell a smooth staple but these have got barbs and when you drive it in there those barbs keep them from coming out uh why would you want to do that well right there <laughs> uh, look at them all that's the utility pole that's the ground wire half the staples are almost coming out yeah uh, if they'd use barb staples those staples wouldn't come out so i'll show you what they look like here in a minute but you look down through here the boys the boys really did a good job they were putting up the boards and i was coming along helping um joel put the cattle panels on and then i'm i've been working jan helped me this afternoon putting putting nice covers on our posts because yeah, you know, those centers will rot out they'll rot out the center of that post even though it's treated it'll rot out if you don't put that on there um it doesn't take that long to do it you've got a significant you know investment here why not protect it that's why I, I mean this is going to last us the rest of our life and all these posts are set in waste rock i mean it you can't you can't move it it's, it's like a tree that's what you want you want a nice solid corral uh, we do have a water point in it we've got a concrete paddle here that was already in here and it is a frost-free tank. I'm not crazy about frost-free tanks, but for a, a small herd, they'll work just fine. You wouldn't want to water a hundred head off that. It's just not enough volume. But we're, you know, the boys and I and Jam, we're pretty tickled the way this turned out. And uh, and, and so, what prompted this? Well, we had a high tensile corral, high tensile wire all the way around it and uh we put a calf in here oh gosh oh it's blind it's a blind one and it ran through the wire and it ran across the road went through that wire it went into the next field field went through that wire and so we just went and got the cow and we left that cow and that calf over there for two months uh, whatever it was it was a good period and that calf got fine you couldn't even tell the darn thing had pink eye. Its eyes were perfectly clear, made a nice steer, um, but it was completely blind for about two to three weeks. And it just ran through this, you know? And I'm like, well, it's like not having a crowd. 
you can't hold an animal in it so yeah uh we had uh we had a cow go through it um volt voltage wasn't high enough i guess and she went through it so they're not gonna go through this um it's showing the staples yeah let's go let's go to the staples so you can see the exit gate over there we got a nice uh, 16 footer uh, we're going to put a latch mechanism on that one too oh and, and show them the exit to the barn yeah. that's pretty clever yeah so this uh we set two posts out from the barn then we just backfilled it with two by eight cca and these Post. Here, here's what's cool. Check this out. So, if we're bringing something out of the pasture, we can run it right into where the head catch is by doing this. There it is. So when they, cut, when they come out of the pasture, they're guided directly into this holding area here where the head catch is and the, the loading area. We don't even have to put them in here. Now, if we want to keep something up for a day or two, this is a great pin to do that. We got water. We can open this gate and come in here for shade. Um, so how do they get in and out of that barn right now? How do they get in and out of it right now? Yeah, that gate there. Yeah, we got to pick that gate up by hand, swing it open, this old iron thing back here. Uh, Isaac said he'd be glad to see it gone. <laughs> what we're talking about, folks, is this. <laughs> you know? And, and we're not getting any younger ourselves. No. And we're grateful for the help of the boys that we have. Yes. Young, strong backs and minds. But let's show them these staples. Yep. And then Let me we'll get this shut up. Sun's starting to go down. My fingers are getting cold. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta take one for the team, I man. know it. <laughs> Your fingers getting cold, honey? Yeah. Okay. So this has got burrs on it. There's your normal staple. So when this one goes Come in. on the black. There we go. You drive that one in. This one drives harder than that one because you've got these restrictions on the outside. But when it goes in, it's kind of like a fish hook. You're not going to pull it back out because the fish hook has barbs on it. And I'll tell you what, that's a heck of a staple. Turn that bucket around it that's on the side there. Um, you can buy these in an eight pound tub. There's the deal right there, folks. You want to make sure you get at least a one and three quarter inch. Because we were driving them through uh, a two by eight. Well, a two by eight is one and five eighths. Time you go around the cattle panel, now you're down to one and three eighths. Okay, so you want you want quite a bit of that staple in that board. Um, I don't know if they make them or not, but I would I would vote for a two inch a two inch staple. Because that cattle panel is thick enough, you just barely will go through the. You don't want you don't want that sticking out the other side of your board. That's going to hurt somebody. But anyway, yeah, I, I'm pretty tickled with these. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and We're, get out. Look at the glorious sunset as we sign out. Oh man, yeah, folks, check out um, our uh, new 
the new uh, documentary coming out on Saturday. It's going to be free. It's I'm going to be in there with Justin Rhodes, and there's going to be uh, they did a 90 minute documentary on our farm. I'm not sure how long this one's going to be, but there's 40 different lessons in there uh, sessions that we taped here on the farm, going over what it takes to run a successful grazing operation. So. The viewing's free. There's going to be question and answers. I'm going to be uh, available for questions. And hope to see you all there Saturday night at 7 o'clock Eastern Time. And uh, to just go to the description section on this video. And you click on that link and you can sign up. You'll get an email when it, when it comes live. So anyway, hope to see you all there. Take care.